So this is video two of my Funnel Kit Go review. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the actual plugin and just you know how it's laid out and how it works. So again, these are some of the you know great looking pages that you can create using Funnel Kit Go. And I, I didn't I know I mentioned this uh, only in passing uh, you know in the last video, but in this video I'm gonna tell you exactly what the drawbacks were from Funnel Kit um, one. And with Funnel Kit one, basically the, the first version, um, when you use the drag and drop editor, and let me let me show you what this actually looks like. When you use the drag and drop editor, it was only a a I don't know 50% drag and drop editor because what happened was when you started to actually create the content on your pages, you could drag the tools that you needed from here to the canvas. The problem with Funnel Kit One was you couldn't drag and drop the elements once they were on the canvas. Okay, you see how I just moved that, and let's say if I move this. Um, you know, you couldn't do that before with the first version of Funnel Kit. So you really had to plan out your pages systematically. And, um, you know, I know a lot of people would get frustrated if they were building more than a capture page. Like if you're trying to build a sales page, you, you generally ran into a lot of trouble and, and generally had to really plan out what you were going to do and had to constantly export your, your text file to be able to put it back in to re-edit some other stuff. Um, the second thing is was that the first um, version of Funnel Kit wasn't mobile responsive. Uh, so those are the two glaring things that they've drastically improved um, from the actual first Funnel Kit to Funnel Kit Go, which is amazing. Because, I mean, th that was really the only thing to me that was absolutely aggravating. So I'm just going to refresh this page because I don't want to save those, those changes that I actually did. Before there was... Um, you know, these would be step one through step six, and now they've condensed it down. It's only step one. They don't even say step. It's basically background, layout, opt-in, content, final touch. So your background, uh, this is pretty simple. Um, you know, you have all these different settings here to choose your background. And again, I will make individual videos that'll show you each section of this step by step, but this is just going to be an overview review. So I'm just going through and showing you. Um, the layout, this would be your layout settings here, okay? Very, you know, self-explanatory for the most part. Opt-in form goes in here, and then when you enable this, this is what makes your, uh, your ability to customize your actual opt-in form and even down to your button. And there's tons of buttons in here already. Let me just show you this. I, I know that if you've had the first version, you, you know um, what this already looked like, but I'm just showing you if you're just kind of new to Funnel Kit. Uh, content, again, uh, this is where we could edit. You can see you can um, copy whatever section that you have, and then this is the editor for that section that or that column. And again, you have one, two, three columns, and then you can put columns within columns. So um, j just so you know that you can actually do that. Matter of fact, let me just show you this. So if I put one column here, Whoops, let's do this again. So if I put one column here, I can put two col I can put two columns within the column if you wanted to. So then you know it basically you'd have to play around to see what I'm talking about about like some of the cool things, neat things that you can actually do doing that because it's a, it's a own independent settings. And then for the final touch, you can actually um, name your page, give it a page slug, a page title, meta keywords, uh, you know, meta description. But what's really good is you get to do some JavaScript um, exit message and a jQuery exit message. And I've actually been messing around and doing some other stuff. Um, this is one of the pages I, I recently created with, with Funnel Kit. But let me show you one of the cool things I actually did. I don't know if I showed you on the last um, video. But if, you, if I go on this one for traffic and leads, you're going to see that I, I use something from another tool. So if I were to click here and I would go, so, you know, this is kind of my version of doing a two-step kind of thing, uh, but you can see here they would go, but if they wanted to leave and did an exit intent, you can see that this pop-up came up. And this is something I used from a different tool, but I was able to go into um, Funnel Kit and actually put it into, you know, the uh, the header area for the, for the um, script area. So a lot of flexibility you have, you can combine some of your other, let's say, uh, you know, things that use script 
uh, that you can put in your header and footer and things like that and to do kind of other cool stuff. So that's a great thing about FunnelKit. Another really, really cool feature is this import export feature is that when you export a, a page, so this would be an export, you could export this, you could create a capture page or whatever pages that you were creating, you could export them and upload them onto someone else's website and or slash server, regardless if they have WordPress or not, because you would just go through cPanel, use FTP, all that, all that good stuff. You can go through cPanel or use FTP is, is what I'm saying. Lastly, let me go through just a couple of just minor drawbacks that I actually noticed from um, FunnelKit. And one of the things is with the graphics that, uh, you know, you get from um, Emka is that it's the same exact graphics pack that was with FunnelKit 1. I thought there would have been way more graphics um, with all the graphics stuff that's come out over the last, you know, year, year and change since uh, the original FunnelKit. I thought there would have been background, more backgrounds and things like that. Um, even though he does give um, two of the example pages that he created in the front end, um, you know, I just thought there would have been a lot more graphics. So that was um, drawback number one. Drawback number two, I just thought like, you know, he gave away a couple of templates, uh, you know, for to, just to get started, the examples that he used on the actual training videos, which is cool. Don't get me wrong. Um, but I think like, you know, he could have over delivered a little bit more and, you know, just coming up with a couple of those other basic looking pages and maybe give it, given away, you know, four or five, which let me tell you what my bonus is going to be. But in order to check out what that bonus is going to be for you, you actually have to watch the next video and or just purchase with my link and you're going to see my bonus in uh, JVZoo anyway. But uh, you got to watch the next video to actually see what your bonus is actually going to be. My name is Danny Fortz with the rejection-free formula, no calling, no chasing, no convincing. Watch the next Funnel Kit Go video.